Hi again, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with our first tie-in server review, the Thunder HX FT77D B7109 High Performance Server. This particular chassis configuration is the B7109 F77DV14HR-2T-N. Tyon was one of the first companies to introduce a server with multiple GPUs to address ridiculously parallel workloads like large-scale facial recognition, cryptography, and genetic sequencing, among other things. This new Thunder HX system offers support for Intel Xeon scalable processors, up to three terabytes of memory, 14 storage devices, and up to eight Tesla GPUs for truly super fast processing. Let's take a closer look. First, let's do a short recap on the Intel Xeon scalable processors. Four flavors, or four and a half if you count the gold claiming two tiers of SKUs. Then you have the bronze, silver, gold, gold, and platinum. The system has been tested to work with most of the scalable processors, even those 8180 platinum processors that need 205 watts each. Scalable processors also support six memory channels and 48 PCI lanes each, for a total of 96 PCI lanes with dual processors. Keep that number in mind, 96 PCI lanes. There are other features, and we'll get to those, but first let's focus on the PCI lanes. As I said earlier, this specific system supports up to eight double-wide NVIDIA Tesla GPUs, each of which requires a by 16 slot. It also supports another by 16 card for high-performance I.O. adjacent to the other by 16 slots. So that would be 9 times 16, which is, let's see, carry the 5, and you get 144 Gen 3.0 PCI lanes. That's not even counting the dedicated LAN on motherboard slot and the OCP riser card, which require two more by eight PCI slots, bringing the total to 160 PCI lanes. The question is, how does it support all those PCI slots? In the meantime, are you looking to purchase the Tyan Thunder HX FT77D B7109 server? And by that, I meant the B7109 FT77DV14HR-2T-N. If you are, then you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. Just click that link to see pricing, and when you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video. And now back to how the hell does this support all those PCIe slots? You see those four square modules with the aluminum heat sinks on the system board? Those are PLX PEX 8747 PCIe switch chips that expand the connectivity of the PCIe bus. Does this mean you get a full by 16 bandwidth lane? Yes. What the switch does is control the traffic on a first-come, first-served basis. The amount of information going back and forth to the GPUs is relatively insignificant compared to the data processing that occurs in the GPU. Once the processing is done, the actual solution to the query is again fairly small and won't clog up your PCI lanes. So yes, you get all those by 16 slots, but the switch makes sure each slot gets the full bandwidth connection to the CPU in an orderly fashion. I'm not even going to try to figure out the naming convention for this server, but I will add there are a few other configurations that share this chassis but support other options. The FT77D is the base chassis, even though the name turns into the B7109 FT77D for some reason. More alphanumeric characters after that indicate support for other options like NVMe storage, scalable processors with a fabric connector, 3.5 inch drive support, and configurations that support 4, 10, and 14 storage devices, including SAS, SATA, and NVMe. As an example, this particular chassis we're reviewing today is the B7109 FT77D V14HR-2T-N. The same SKU number with an F on the end means it supports everything this one does and also the scalable Omnipath fabric processors and an OPA high-performance I.O. card with one port for each CPU, granting connection speeds of up to 100 gigabits per second. Here are all the SKUs for that chassis. Storage on this system is substantial, with native support for up to 14 2.5 inch hot swap SATA HDDs or SSDs running at 6 gigabits per second respectively. The drives are installed vertically with the front top cover removed and connect to the backplane mounted on the bottom of the chassis. The backplane supports SAS, SATA and NVMe drives, providing additional options for speed and resiliency. An optional HD controller can be added to the pre-installed tie-in storage riser, allowing you to deploy up to eight SAS drives and two NVMe storage devices without using any of those rear PCIe slots. Behind the front drives are six large hot swap fans with five plus one redundancy. Integrated management is through the onboard AST 2500 base management controller with Redfish support. It also supports IKVM features for out-of-band remote management and monitoring via Microsoft Windows Emergency Management Services. LEDs on the front control panel offer information on LAN status, storage, memory, chipset, and power. Another panel of LED lights indicates storage device status. The potential for up to eight GPUs gives the system massive parallel processing for things like cryptocurrency mining, scientific calculations, and such. Each GPU has thousands of CUDA cores that are designed for the simultaneous rendering of thousands of pixels in a game or thousands of simultaneous calculations for other uses. 
In comparison, the CPUs supported on this system have a maximum of 28 cores each. Along with support for those GPUs and getting an answer to that pressing query ASAP, there's also support for either an NVMe read timer card to support NVMe drives or a high performance network card that can support 100 gigabit EDR, 100 gigabit ethernet or 100 gigabit Omnipath fabric with the scalable fabric processors installed. And given the power requirements to run all those GPUs, there are three 1600 watt power supplies total with two used to power the system at 3200 watts and the third for two plus one redundancy. 24 DDR memory slots are supported by dual Intel scalable processors with each processor in charge of 12 DIMM slots in six memory channels. Even with two DIMM modules per channel, memory can run at a top speed of 2666 MHz, depending on the CPU, some of which only support a top speed of 2400 MHz. Registered, load reduced, and 3DS RDIMMs and LR DIMMs are supported but cannot be mixed. 3DS memory modules support more memory with a stacking die that offers greater density to enable 128GB, 256GB, and potentially 512GB memory modules. The type of memory you go with will determine the maximum memory capacity with RDIMMs supporting 512GB of memory, LRDIMMs will provide up to 1.5TB, and those 3DS memory modules which can be either registered or load reduced can provide up to 3TB of memory with all slots populated with 128GB memory modules. The Tyan Thunder HX FT77D B7109, including the B7109 F77DV14HR-2T-N we have here today, are not your run-of-the-mill servers. These systems are designed for very specific workloads like particle physics, gene sequencing, cryptocurrency mining, and facial recognition on a massive scale. Think Big Brother. The potential for up to eight NVIDIA Tesla GPUs provide the processing for stupidly parallel workloads, and with the specs on this platform, you'll get your answers fast. If you have any questions on this system or any other, just post them in the comments section below. There's also a few links in the description for more information on this platform. And if you're interested in pricing, click that link. IT Creations has this platform and over 7,000 other servers in stock and the parts and components to custom configure to your specifications. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stumann with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.